Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the look for you guys. This is a very dramatic and a bit on the bold side for Valentine's Day. I already posted a look. So this is look number two for Valentine's Day and I'm going to try to get one more up right before Valentine's Day for you guys. So I hope you will enjoy it. It's been a while I think since I've done like a nudish lip. So I definitely wanted to give you guys something with more of a toned down lip. If you want to see how I got this look, then please continue to watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. To prime the face, I used the Marc Jacob Coconut Primer along with my Becca Backlighting Primer Filter. And then I used the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist with my Marc Jacob Foundation. And I applied this with the M439 brush from Morphe after applying my foundation which I don't know if it's the season or not but this foundation hasn't been working for me the last two times I used it but that's a different story I'm using the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in all the places I want to highlight under the eye the bridge of the nose the cupid's bow and things as such and I will set it with my L'Oreal Mercier, Mercier translucent powder now I'm going in with the brows I'm using the new Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow Wiz, it's like a definer brow Wiz. this is everything if you don't have your hands on it you need to get your hands on it I love the pomade but it takes too long and I like the other pencil that they have but I feel like it's just too hard to like to apply I don't really like its application this one is like the best of both of them put together so if you don't have your hands on this their new brow pencil you should get it and I just use some concealer to clean it up and then use an elf brush to buffer it out so that the lines are not harsh now that I finished the face I'm gonna go in with my terracotta bronzer and I'm just going to bronze all the places that I want to look a bit slimmer and bring a little bit more color to the face and at first like I said before I wasn't really feeling this bronzer it's definitely growing on me I'm really starting to like it the more and more I use it and I'm also going to go in with another bronzer on top of this I'm going to use the Sonia Kashuk on top of this after I carve out the nose I did use a different bronzer for the nose I used the NYX contour palette to do my nose I didn't use the terracotta but I'm going in with this Sonia Kashuk on top of that bronzer and the glow that it gives them together it's really really pretty it's really pretty and it's really natural it doesn't look overdone which is what I hate I hate to look overdone so now we're gonna go on to the eyes I'm using Makeup Geek's uh, Coco Bear as my transition shade there's gonna be a lot of Makeup Geek um, colors in this video I use the Coco Beak Coco <laughs> yummy yeah, makeup geek Coco Bear as a transition with my E40 Sigma brush and then I go in with a coastal sense color which is wild raisin and I take a my this is my Sigma E25 crease brush to further define the crease I love this color it's like a reddish brown color not too red not too brown I don't know how to describe it but it's an amazing color then I'm gonna go on with this very gorgeous purple it's called drama queen it's by makeup geek and it is such a beautiful purple color It has like little reflex and it, in it and it's just gorgeous I'm taking a small pencil brush and applying this in the inner corners and then I'm gonna take a bigger brush and apply it to the outer corners this is going to be like a halo <coughs> sorry guys a halo type effect look to this um this eye that I'm going for so it's going to be a bit dramatic a bit darker on the outer and inner corners and then it's going to be a different color in the center and there's a lot of blending going back in reapplying with this so if you're not one to blend this look is not for you and if you're one to blend then let's get it popping and for the center I'm going in with grandstand as my center lid color and this is a foil makeup geek shadow so applying it with your finger gives you the best payout and I just love this I can wear this color every single day I love this foil shadow it is my favorite makeup geek full shadow because it's one of those colors that just can be worn for any occasion and like I said it's a lot of blending going back in blending going back in 
I mean, blending is required for any look, but mainly looks that's more dramatic and, and has a dimension such as this one, you definitely must blend. And because I want to keep the focus really on the look itself, I don't want to cover it with any liner, so there will be no eyeliner in this look. And then I'm going to go into just further um, define it and just give it a bit more sultriness, taking a bit of black, placing it right in the inner corner and right on the outer corner. If you have a smaller brush, I would prefer to use a smaller brush, but a lot of my brushes just so happened to be dirty that day, so I was just working with the few that I had. I'm actually going in with the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte. You guys know I've raved about this mascara before. It is by far my favorite mascara at the moment in the last four or five months. This has been my favorite mascara. I'm going in with the Allure um, number 126 lashes. They are the lashes that I used in the previous video. I really like these lashes. They're kind of like the Vegas Nail lashes, but they're not as... Um, Dramatic where the Vegas nails feel like they're more stacked. These are not stacked. These are um, they don't look as stacked and as full, but they're still very full. And then for eyeliner, I'm going in with my absolute eyeliner that I get from my local drugstore. I'm gonna smoke it out with a little bit of Cocoa Bear as like my base color, and then I'm gonna take Drama Queen and apply it right on the lid where I apply the liner to. Um, really make it just last and pop for the highlight color I am taking this is I believe yes this is peach smoothie by makeup geek and I'm applying that as a highlight color I'm using black up I don't know the name but I will leave it in the description box below as my blush color it's a very neutral color it's not very bright I love it for any occasion and I'm using my uh, Laura Geller what is it honey I'm gonna leave it in the description box below but I'm using this as my highlight this is it I love this highlight guys and I love this highlight because it looks great on any complexion it is a great great highlighter great quality highlighter and it's not that expensive so if you don't have it you should definitely get it I'm actually gonna try to get the, my hands on the other one which is called ballerina if you guys have that let me know how you like it I'm gonna go over the face one more time with the Tatcha Luminous mist and then I'm going to apply my mascara with this mascara I find if you apply it before the luminous mist it can run sometimes so I try to remember to do it afterwards this is the matte giggle black lash mascara and then I'm gonna do my lips I am just taking a brown lip liner from absolute um, just a dark brown lip liner it doesn't have to be that brand but any brown lip liner will do and then I'm first gonna go on with my colored rain Mars you guys know color rain is my boo I love the brand I love the company I love everything about them so I'm applying this first as like my main outer portion base color and then after I apply this I'm gonna go on with another color rain shade which is a bit lighter than Mars and it's called um, sugar and I'm just going to apply this into the center of the lid to give the lips a bit of this dimension shape and give it that nice pout in the middle. So I'm going to then go in with a little brush and just to flick out the ends to make sure that um, it's not, you know, noticeable. It's like a seamless blend. This is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.